Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. Hello everyone. I was looking for a leading brand of development board for the ESP32 and uh, during my searching came across this particular variant. And so I thought I'd show you what I think of it. Here's the board running with the Blink Sketch branded under the Wemos name. Uh, has a reset and boot button. ESP32 26 megahertz crystal uniquely a 32 kilohertz real-time clock crystal external flash a uart a bridge for the charge current for the lipo battery micro usb a red and yellow power and charge led indicator and access to ground 5 volts v battery on both sides along with ground and 3.3 volts on both sides so it makes it extremely convenient for peripherals and there's a blue LED which is connected to GPIO5. There's a link to disable the power LED for minimum power consumption to change by putting a resistor through there, change the charging current and change how you apply power to the flash memory. So it's a pretty good board all round, very well designed. Here's a uh, comparison. If you look at some of the red PCB brands on the market, here I've done a comparison. It's identical in all regards. In fact, the only thing that's different is the cost. It's three times less cost. But everything else is, uh, as far as I can see, uh, identical. You choose the uh, Wemos Lowland 32 board type to program it, and there's not much more to say. I could go through every one of those aspects of the board, but you can see it's identical. On the rear of the board, on the far left, there is a um, two pads with a very small trace between them. That enables the power LED to be disabled. So if you're running off battery, you can disable the power LED. In the middle there is a track to add more series resistance to the LiPo charge circuit. So you can reduce the charge current down to perhaps trickle charge from a solar panel or something like that. Which is quite useful. The default setting is 500 milliamps. And on the right hand side is a set of pads for powering the uh, flash memory from a different source either 3.3 volts on board or external in terms of summary it's a useful alternative to other brands on the market physically and functionally identical to those other brands it has a very good pin layout with ample access to the grounds 5 volt 3.3 volt and v battery or the lipo battery voltage it's much lower cost a third of the cost of other brands and i've included the link in the video description where you can buy it i hope you find it useful i hope you found this technical note interesting and useful 